Believe it or not, folks in long-term relationships or marriages are more likely to live to a ripe old age than their single counterparts. So what's the key to making love last? I'm Fran. I'm Jerry. And we've been married 53 years. It's gone so fast and so much happiness. And we still laugh together. We kiss every night before we go to bed so we don't get up angry. It works most of the time. <laughs> Met Fran, we had, we're having dinner, and I enjoyed her company, enjoyed her. And I said, would you like to go to see Brigadoon? And she said, yes. The next morning, the phone rang at 6 a.m. It's Jerry. He says, I don't know what happened to me. I took a walk in the park, singing and whistling. I was singing Brigadoon. It's almost like being in love. If I didn't have Fran as a wife, I'm not sure I'd be talking to you today. Come on, make me cry. <laughs> That sure yeah. seems to me like that's a successful so relationship. Sweet. And you know that what he said is true. In fact, <laughs> Sorry. one of the biggest health risks for men is to be unmarried. So they have the highest rate of dying from cancer. Now I like to think it's because having a nagging wife looking at your moles, mm -hmm. right, and telling you to go to your doctor's appointments is part of it. But also there is that companionship. Mm -hmm.